When you think about metals, you usually don't think of things that you can eat. But you do. Well, not like this, of course, but in much smaller quantities. For instance, you may eat lentils or beans that are naturally rich in iron. We need to consume enough iron because our red blood cells need it to carry oxygen to our tissues. Similarly, we need zinc to strengthen our immune and reproductive system. And copper. Yes, that copper is essential for our respiration process. So you see, metals are required for us to stay alive. We're not the only ones who need metals, though. Plants need to breed as well. And they require metals to live healthy lives too. They also need metals to convert light energy into sugars and growth. And their access to these metals is crucial because whether you get to eat healthier greens or not is determined by whether plants can access these metals through the soil or not. Like in humans, these metals act like helpers that bind to proteins and help them speed up various biological processes. Without these essential metals, known as cofactors, some chemical reactions would take hundreds of years. But with the presence of a simple enzyme and its metal cofactor, reaction happen hundreds, thousands, and even millions of times per second. But beware, too much metal can cause trouble too. For example, copper is essential for all organisms. However, it can easily become toxic. For plants, this can happen via the use of copper-based pesticides, and for humans, via water pipes made from copper. Also, not all metals are helpful. For example, cadmium and mercury are not essential and cause poisoning at even very low doses. So plants, as well as humans, need to control metal uptake very tightly. Since plants are the basis of our food systems, we need to take very good care of our soil and understand better and better how plants take up and use metals. Not only that, there are specifically adapted plants who accumulate metals in extreme amounts. These plants cannot be eaten by us, but can can be used to remove excess metals in contaminated soils, making soils useful for human agriculture. The metals accumulated in these plants can even be mined later for reuse in industry. Altogether, our life is closely intertwined with plants, especially through these trace amounts of metals. Understanding how trace metals operate in nature opens new methods to feed the ever-increasing number of humans around the world.